concerning the treatment, the first thing is that you have to check about the contraception, the peers. So if you have a peers of first or second generation, it will increase acne. So you have to explain to the patient that you have to move from one second generation to third or fourth generation because the progestatin is pro-androgenic in first and second generation. The second thing is at the therapeutic level. You can use obviously systemic cycling, but the problem is that often you have several courses and it relapses after. So what are the alternatives? First, isotretinoin. You can use either normal doses or low doses. Just if you have an important severe hyperseborrhea, so please use 0.5 mg per kilogram, that is a normal dose. If it's not, you can use lower dose. So if you have relapse or if you have an important hormonal factor, sometimes isotretinoin is not sufficient. Another alternative today is to use spironolactone. The only problem is that the labeling of spironolactone today is not for acne, but it works. It works at low dose, I mean between 50 mg and 150 mg, so very low dose. So the alone problem often is the irregular menstruation, but no other risk, I mean hypotension or this kind of thing. And it works very well in two months. At the topical level, the base treatment is combined, fixed combined therapy, topical therapy, associating either so retinoid and benzoyperoxide or topical antibiotic and retinoid. What you have to avoid absolutely is topical antibiotic. In three weeks, you induce, induce a bacterial resistance. Always the treatment in the evening never in the morning because of the irritation, and then the UV destroy, so topical retinoid and vasoliperoxide. You have to treat all the face, it is not a spot treatment. And finally, what is very important is the cosmetic. Check the cosmetic of the woman. Often it's a factor, so inducing the acne lesion. So in the morning, moisturizing cream, not comedogen. A cleanser whose pH is close to this of the skin, and finally, thing to the photo protection. Help her also for the makeup, to have the good makeup. If you do that, I think today, concerning this type of acne, so you can hope a success, but it means that you will treat your patient for around 18 or 24 months. The percentage of success with this treatment is around 60%. So taking into account either spironolactone, isotretinoin cyclin, but combined with all the other things that I explained. The most important point is that you don't have only to treat acne lesion. You have to have a global approach of your patients.